In this small office space in Oregon is where Nigeria's IoT startup Grix is preferring cold chain solutions for the country's agri and health sector. They are a smart, portable and active cooling device. They engage in the transportation and storage of agricultural and healthcare products that are temperature sensitive. The founder, Ogenetega Iotim, first came up with the idea after an investment loss in agriculture. He sought to build a solution that works irrespective of the infrastructural challenges that exists in the cold chain market. In 2015, myself alongside a couple of friends um, invested in agriculture and we lost heavily. And the major reason why we lost was because of a lack of cold chain to store the produce, right? Um, and then I felt, okay, it was an important problem to solve. So once I researched, I saw that there were not available solutions in the market that were suitable for my needs, so I decided to build one. Um, and that's when we built our first prototype and then from there, you know, we started making changes until where we are today. Tega says after a series of iterations to his idea, like prototyping with a local god port, they built the first model of the smart cold chain box in 2018. Materials were sourced locally and then they started operations. Um, our first prototype was built in 2018, um, where we had to make use of local materials. And I mean, at first our solution was targeted towards the agricultural sector. Um, but we also came to understand that we had constraints as a business as regards access to capital and the size of the technology that we could build. But we, decided, we also saw verticals in healthcare space. The first place we saw was, um, was animal vaccines, right? And um, the solution that we had could work for animal vaccines. So we decided to you know, double down on that. And then we also saw another vertical, which was human healthcare, which is a um, movement of temperature controlled products for, for humans. And then, I mean, we built that as well. At that point, we, just, we saw that, okay, there was a big enough market. The problem spanned across multiple regions across the world. A lot of developing countries are having this problem. I mean, if you even take a look at Sub-Saharan Africa, you see that um, for vaccination, you have one out of five infants that do not have access to um, vaccines and is largely due to cold chain. And within Sub-Saharan Africa as well, you have about 200 million people who are um, undernourished. Um, for varying, varying factors, you know, but the region produces enough food but doesn't store enough, you know, so that was when we decided, okay, let's double down on this and then let's really solve this problem because it could be worth solving. The smart cold box is like a mobile refrigerator. It has batteries powered by solar and is embedded with real-time storage temperature that can be controlled remotely via an app. A location monitoring technology is also fitted into the device to keep track of products at the point of pickup to their last destination in real time. The challenges when you look at developing countries is lack of electricity. Um, so you need something that works independent of the epileptic power supply. Um, two, you also want to ensure that, I mean, there's quality assurance, right? Um, that means you want to be able to track um, the location of the refrigerated asset, as well as ensure that products that are in the asset, in the, in the boxes, are kept at the right temperature. So that's the problem the boxes are built to solve. So they have their independent power sources, which has like, is like an internal battery, um, which powers the refrigerators and also comes with an IoT feature, which is GSM enabled, which means that in some very hard to reach, reach locations, you can actually tell what the temperature of the vaccines that are being stored are, where the location of the vaccine is as well at that point in time. So these are the two things. We've also implemented like solar options for um, the use of these products in very remote locations where you have no access to grid. Having dealings in the healthcare sector, the startup pays very close attention to the transportation of products, so they built in features such as geofencing points of interest to ensure an immediate notification if and when the products go out of course and proactive measures are taken. 
Quality assurance is one key aspect which um, everybody in the pharmaceutical manufacturing and distribution um, side of the business are key on, right? Um, and so that's why we and it, we built in the IoT feature, which is able to you know basically inform users on where you know products are um, if they're excursions, sending out um, notifications immediately, their excursions, and that's a built-in feature that we've added into our boxes. But also developed a standalone um, solution called the Greek modes. With the modes, you are able to put that inside the coolers and ice packs, and also to be able to detect if you know the cold chain has been broken um, or if the cold chain is being preserved. Also reporting the information as regards location of where these temperature control products are. But this IoT startup didn't come this far without its peculiar trials. Despite being an IoT company, um, our technology is heavily reliant on the hardware bit um, and as you know um, developing of hardware in Nigeria can really be tough. Um, you have to import certain components, access to FX, you know depreciating value of the Naira. We also did encounter some challenges around um, getting the right quality of um, um, people to build the kind of solution that you required um, but eventually we did. Greeks started off by solving problems in the cold chain space of the agricultural sector but soon discovered the solution could be spread across various platforms especially healthcare. 